Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Now, I want to get a few things out of the way before I dive into reviewing Battle of the Sexes. One, I was not alive during the time period depicted here, nor was I really aware of the famous tennis match at its center. Two, I'm not really into tennis that much. Three, I'm also not really into politics. Okay? Now, regardless of all those things, I can tell you I quite enjoyed Battle of the Sexes anyway because it's simply a well-made, inspirational sports drama about an athlete overcoming obstacles both on and off the field to ultimately emerge victorious. No, I didn't need to have been familiar with the real-life event to know how it all turned out. I mean, it's a sports movie after all. If it didn't end the way you wanted it to, well, then they probably wouldn't have made a movie about it. Now, the fact that it's so rousing, despite the well-worn sports movie formula, where all plot lines converge on the big game, is a testament to the direction by the team behind Little Miss Sunshine and writer Simon Beaufoy, whose credits include Slumdog Millionaire, The Full Monty, and 127 Hours, and especially due to the performances by a uniformly excellent cast led by Emma Stone, who by the way, is just fantastic in this film. She gives a confident, surprising, physical, and heartbreaking turn full of conviction and inner turmoil as Billie Jean King. Now, Battle of the Sexes finds Billie Jean King at the top of the world of women's tennis as the film begins, and she's attempting to use that stature to secure equal pay for equal work a thread that links the film very comfortably with the issues of today. When the league she's in won't pay the women winners as much as the men's winners, she takes a huge gamble, grabs some friends, and starts her own tennis league. At the same time, she strikes up an illicit affair with a female hairdresser on the road, despite her marriage to her biggest supporter, businessman Larry King. Uh, no relation. As played by Stone, King's journey of activism and self-discovery is ultra compelling, without the kind of table-thumping histrionics usually associated with such social justice stories. It's all just very matter-of-fact. She just comes into her own as an activist, as an athlete, and as a woman, because she's following her own compass and figuring things out on her own. I think the greatest thing I can say about Battle of the Sexes is that for the first major passages, we're getting to know Billie Jean King and Steve Carell's Bobby Riggs, and more on him in a second, but there's very little in the way of actual tennis playing going on. For about the first half of the film, it's a film about romance, it's a film about sisterhood, it's a film about people and their love lives and their fears and their insecurities. And then, when all that stuff is only just starting to wear out its welcome, all of a sudden it becomes a film about tennis. Now, before I get to that shift, a few words about Steve Carell as Bobby Riggs. He is just delightful in his turn as an aging tennis pro with a failing marriage due to a gambling addiction. He's brash, he's flamboyant, and he's an excellent hype man. For him, the idea of being seen as a male chauvinist pig isn't legitimate social commentary, it's marketing. He sees in the women's lib movement an opportunity, a way to garner interest in an exploitative exhibition match by painting himself as the villain. What we see as a result, however, is what also seems to cast parallels to current events, is that when a man stands up and half-heartedly espouses bigotry for laughs or for publicity, it emboldens actual bigots to say the things that they really mean out loud and in public as well. Witnessing the stories of these two athletes converging with all of the societal, personal, financial, and romantic consequences involved makes for some satisfying drama, and as I mentioned before, as soon as that starts to wane, as if on cue, the movie starts being about sports again. It goes back onto the rails of sports movie convention and cruises on autopilot, hitting all of the necessary beats on its way to a heartwarming and triumphant conclusion. I award Battle of the Sexes a large bag of popcorn. It's got all you need from a sports movie and throws in inspiring social commentary for good measure. This is an inspiring story told by a sure-handed creative team, and it even creates a minor miracle. It actually makes a tennis match exciting to watch. I know! That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us by clicking subscribe while you're there. And by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Battle of the Sexes in the comments as well. Let's hear it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. And I'm a liver, not a lover.